So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we're talking about Call of Duty World War II Zombies and post patch 1.06. I know a lot of you guys have probably downloaded that. I will have the patch notes linked down in the description box below. It'll be the top link. Be sure to check that out. If you go on to learn anything, drop a like on this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything, anything at all sparks an idea, be sure to hit me up on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So with the launch of Call of Duty World War II, it's been out a month now, and we just got some patch notes that rolled in, telling us that the zombie supply drops were fixed. Well, at least if you were prestiged, it said in the patch notes 100% that it was fixed. I showed you guys in the actual patch notes video that that was not true. In fact, it was nothing more than fake news. And to add on top of that, we ain't got good news for high round players, if you're in that group. You run the risk now of an XP issue, it's glitched out, you'll enter your after action report and get your XP, it'll show you it. However, it will not apply to your account once you leave the after action report in the lobby. So you guys are in for a juicy video, but we got a blog announcement from Sledgehammer, and it's called Tuning the Engine While the Jet is in Flight. Now I broke that apart because what jet is in flight is, is the servers are online, we're playing. And they're talking about tuning the engine while that's going on. So, here's what Sledgehammer had to say in the latest regards as to what they're doing in the studio. Post-launch game updates are uniquely complex and delicate. Hashtag COD World War II is a feature-heavy game. And we have several hundred developers actively making fixes and incorporating community feedback. Yet, when launching to many millions of players across the globe, under highly varied home network infrastructures, stability is always a priority to us. Part of our process is a rigorous QA testing phase. In addition, there are first party protocols for how updates get safely propagated to players. Juicy! For fans, that means you are generally seeing changes several days or weeks after we've implemented them into the development cycle environment at Sledgehammer Games. I'll say that last part again. For fans, that means you are generally seeing changes several days or weeks after they've already implemented them into the development environment at Sledgehammer Games. So that means they've been doing this for weeks before they give it to us. And that's good because they need to be testing this. Back to what they said. Rest assured, that doesn't mean we aren't working incredibly hard or fast to address feedback. It means that there is sometimes a delay between the time we make the changes at the studio and the time we can communicate it to the audience and they see it rolled out live into the community. By the way, just so you guys know, when I read blog posts like this in my videos, I tend to have them linked in the description box below. So if you want to see what I'm saying to you, check the description box below for more details. Now, what they also said was, we have plenty of changes in coming updates. And these include the start of Ranked Play Season 1, the placement season, beginning tomorrow, December 1st, which is today. In addition, based on player feedback and validated through internal play tests, Today, we are releasing tuning updates to Global Flinch on all weapon classes. Now, this is what we talked about in patch 1.06. We talked about Global Flinch being introduced to all weapon classes. Now, this hasn't really affected zombies as much because it's not PvP based. So, how Flinch is reduced when you're getting hit by something. In zombies, we don't get hit by anything. So, for now, Global Flinch was a good thing, and I'm glad that there were tuning adjustments for that happening. The side notes for this read, these reduced flinch values that provided better consistency while engaging in head-to-head -head combat. Jump online and let us know what you think. So in the actual description, you can click the link and reply to the Reddit post and let them know what you think of the flinching. So if you're a big multiplayer guy and you occasionally play zombies here on the channel, be sure to check out that flinching and let them know what you think. So they're looking forward to sharing more soon, but in the meantime, Leave your constructive f feedback, and that's what they're interested in knowing. So, that's the latest that we got from Sledgehammer. Perhaps the worst part about all of this is that everyone still isn't receiving zombie supply drops. I've been forwarding so many messages to Sledgehammer Games, Activision Assist, talking to many people in the community about this, trying to spread the word, and it just seems like it's not good enough. I'm not sure, but Sledgehammer did reply recently, and they did say we did make zombie changes including the issue you're referring to with the supply drops. If you follow the link, you'll find them in the update. So all they're doing is referring people to the patch notes. But we have proof, solid proof, that it's not actually fixed. And we're presenting it the best that we can. It's just a waiting game right now 
until they actually see it. But they're talking about how sometimes it's days and weeks of them implementing it into their system before we actually get to see it. So I'm curious, very curious, as to if they have it fixed in their studio or if they're working on it. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long it can be until we actually see some clarity here. But one thing we do know about, some of you might be interested in this, and that is Ranked Play. And this is Season 1, it's about to start. I might dive into this a little bit because there is some juicy, juicy loot that I want to get my hands on, and that's a new helmet. Take a look. It's pretty damn sexy. They also got a new icon for the actual playlist itself with a crown and a 1 because this is Season 1, and I imagine that number will be Roman numeral moving forward. However, it might not. I don't know. But Ranked Play is going to start out as a solo experience. You won't be able to invite friends, and that's because they want people to have the solo experience and getting all their meta in per player before we bring in teams. And uh, that's what it seems like right now. It's going to start at 10 a.m. December 1st, which is today. So get in there. Let's see what uh, let's see what we can make of it. I'm not sure what the experience is going to be like, but I imagine it's going to be kind of fun. Looking at the trends of Destiny 2, because they have a social space owned by Activision, features are somewhat very similar that they're bringing into Call of Duty. This seems like somewhat of a feature that's a lot like Trials of Osiris. That usually comes once a month in Destiny 2, and they will compete in a very competitive environment. And that seems to be what this seasonal based rank play is going to be like. So yeah, I think it's cool. And I think it's very interesting. And I'm not a huge multiplayer guy. However, zombies is what it is right now. We can't prestige. We can't earn zombie supply drops. So I'm busy earning my camos. You know, I'm trying to get gold in everything. And right now I'm working on pistols, which is taking forever. That 1911 is very hard to get headshots with. But this is not the only event you have to look forward to, okay? There is a seasonal event coming up called Winter Siege, which will also start at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, Friday, December 8th, and run all through December. So we're going to have a lot of great, juicy goodness in this special event. And if you take part in this in multiplayer in your season pass holder, you'll have a winter version of Carrington, which is the bonus map. So that's something unique that they're bringing to the table, and I really like that. They're going to have weekly Winter Siege rewards for players that join them throughout the event. Now, if this is anything like past events that we've seen, we're going to have weekly rewards and tiers. So, one day we'll get a reward, the next day we'll have something else that occurs, and there'll be different packages we can buy, probably with COD points, because we can't even earn supply drops right now by spending a currency. It doesn't seem like there's a currency outside of Armory credits. In Zombie, they have this ridiculous unlock token called Raven Tokens. And that just unlocks mods. Anyone with half a brain will understand that this is what replaced keys, which was the shared currency with multiplayer and in infinite warfare. In multiplayer right now for World War II, we have unlock tokens. And that's where keys would naturally be for us to unlock these zombie crates or these supply drops. But it's not there. So I don't think that option's coming. I think it has been taken from the game and it might be throughout the entirety of the season pass. I'm worried about that because that does take away a part of earning the game. It's part of the experience of earning everything in it. But I think Armory Credits will be the solution to this. I just don't know how they're going to implement it. So where this story begins about the XP issue on High Rounds was a tweet I saw by Glitching Queen. She put out just a warning. I went to round 79, got 18k kills, and none of the XP counted. None. I did not lag out. I died and ended the game to make sure it would count. Waste of time. So I wouldn't recommend high rounds for XP right now. Not long after this tweet, a testimony came out on Reddit about this same factor. Glitching Queen responded saying that she thinks once you get past round 65, it appears that your XP is going to start glitching out. So it gets a little random past round 65. You might not want to approach the earlier later 60s. Now the testimony over on Reddit seems to think that this glitch occurs between 70 and 75. Not sure if that's the wave where it actually occurs, but hey, you have a fair warning of this actually being a thing. And I wanted to make sure this information got brought out to you guys. No matter the sources, when we get multiple sources talking about the same thing, we have to understand that this might be a problem. Especially since prestiging is a problem, the zombie supply drops is a problem, now high rounds is a problem. So let me know what you guys think of all this in the comment section below. We're living in a very crazy time and the delay in communication is very real. So the waiting game still continues. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Violent out.